Done. Did you know Americans spend $1 billion a year on brain games? They claim to make you smarter, improve your memory, and maybe even prevent against cognitive decline. But could all this just be a bunch of snake oil? Can playing a game on your computer for a few minutes a day make you smarter? Websites like Lumosity claim not only to do just that, they promise that playing their games will prevent age-related conditions like dementia. But the Federal Trade Commission says don't believe the hype. The developer of Lumosity has agreed to pay $2 million to settle charges that it used deceptive claims and false advertising. What does the research say about these brain games? And is there anything you can do to keep your brain sharp and healthy? So Dr. Rich, you said in our briefing that this, these are things that you've tried. I, I am not yeah. familiar with them. I know they're out there, but what kinds of games are we talking about? Honestly, they're games where you kind of have to match things, and you kind of, they'll have a speed test to see how quickly you can match them. I, I felt as though the games actually were helping me concentrate, focus a little better. You know, I wasn't, didn't feel as quite Was a scatterbrain. Fun? Yeah, they were fun. They were engaging. They were just kind of matching. You, you score yourself, and then you're, the whole idea is as time goes by, you get better and better. I think the problem here, and I had to shake my head as I was watching the tape is again maybe good good message good intention but wrong yeah. execution the problem is always the oversell the overhype the marketing mm -hmm. saying promising this promising that because there is actually data that yeah. the brain is like a muscle so if you don't use it you lose it and it is that one piece to the puzzle of preventing cognitive decline you know brain specialists that I've spoken to and the data definitely shows people who learn another language have lower so i think there is some validity here it's just a matter of you know are you signing up are you paying for something that's been overhyped i think you're right it's it's marketing gone gone haywire i mean they're saying that it can prevent alzheimer's and they're doing all these well, things that's the ftc's yeah belief. it's that they're preying on the fears of people because you throw out words like alzheimer's and anything like prevent, mm -hmm. well, obviously, you're going to have a lot more people purchasing the product. So I don't think anyone would say that these are bad, right? It's just that it's tough to make some of these claims without some really robust data. What's interesting is how lately things that seemingly are so separate from the brain, that's where the really good data is coming in. The good data on exercise and how if you commit to an exercise program, that may actually really help prevent cognitive decline. And the theory is, look, do we know exactly why? No, but, you know, when you exercise, what's really beautiful is you're getting increased blood flow to every organ in your body, including your brain. And I will say I always feel sharper. Mm -hmm. Not so much after a long day of using my brain. I actually, long days for me, mentally are taxing. Mm -hmm. Then I may do a quick exercise program. That's when I feel sharp. Mm -hmm. And so the new data on that, is um, it is and what else you can do? The way your diet affects your brain health. Mm. I mean, very, very clearly, there have been there have been really good studies that show that again, if you eat a, a healthy, nutritious diet, that that is good for your brain. Not really a surprise, but it's something that is in our control. We can't control the genetic as aspects of right. this, but we can control what we do. And we were talking, how much time do we spend on our devices, letting those devices do the hard work for us, like GPS? If that lady did not tell me where to go, <laughs> I would yeah. not be able to figure it out. So once in a while, silence her. And figure and it figure out. Figure it out. Right. And one thing that we don't talk about that the data supports is dancing. Dancing actually improves cognitive function. And so, you know, taking a new dance class, learning some step, you know, however you want to do it, let, let's get dancing. I'm, hey, I'm all for it. I'm, <laughs> I'm for all that stuff. At the end of the day, use it or lose it. I think there's some truth with that when totally. it comes to the brain. Stay active, avoid drinking too much alcohol, obviously, certain drugs. All those things can impact cognitive function.